Back at it again, top billing. Doing something on my man Demario Davis. This was born from the Who You Got video between Atlanta Falcons linebacker Deion Jones and Saints linebacker Demario Davis, where I saw a ton of disrespect towards Demario Davis that I probably should have been prepared for considering these are two rival teams. But you know me, I'm all in the interest of fairness and I'm here to promote great football play as far as the nuances of the game and being able to point that out and show people. So in a who you got between the two, me personally, I'm taking Demario Davis. Demario Davis is just a flat out better football player than Deion Jones. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me some Deion Jones since LSU. He is a very good player in his own right, but I don't do the fandom stuff. I'm here to be impartial, and I'm here to show you guys what well-rounded linebacker play is. It's a position that's near and dear to my heart because I played it, and I understand well-rounded linebacker play. And what really has me aggravated is somebody painting a guy like Demario Davis as a big run stuffing linebacker because he does not look like a malnourished Ethiopian undersized wide receiver or something that these guys are used to seeing at the linebacker position these days, which is annoying in itself. Uh, he's a freak athlete. I heard about him in college being a freak athlete. All he did was go to the combine and prove that he's a freak athlete. And we see that today. All right, my man Deion Jones, he ran a 4.59 at the Combine. I watch the Combine every year. I used to record it on VHS and watch it over and over and over. Come on. He ran a 4.59, and I think his other run was maybe in the 4.6s, if I can remember correctly. He's six foot one, two 220 pounds. There's a ton of safeties out there that are bigger than this and a whole host of running backs that are bigger than this. All right, I want you to look at this. At the NFL Combine, Demario Davis ran a 4.49. He has 4'4 four, four speed at nearly 250 pounds, six foot two. He put up 32 reps on the bench press. Conversely, Deion Jones put up 16 reps on the bench press. He's just a whole different beast. He's also a freak athlete, and he's also an outside linebacker. All right, so when A.J. Klein is in the game or a man Tateo and they have their full service of linebackers, where is the Mario Davis placed at? On the open side of the formation because he's a freak athlete. <laughs> like all these other guys you claim are really good athletes, he is that, right? So you see him, right? He's on the weak side of the formation. You got your strength to there. He chases down plays with the best of them as well. The damn dude's running a damn 4-4, four, four, man. He's running a 4-4. Four, four. Where is he at? Right? Is he a position over here at this, uh, on the close side of the defense? No. He's on the weak side, chasing down the play from behind. The guy can move like you wouldn't believe, man. He's incredible. I'm telling you. All right, check him out. Right here, working against this bootleg play with a submarine route by the fullback. Look how much ground he covers once he realizes what's going on here. Everybody's flowing to the right. Nope, he tracks back. To, boom. He doesn't even allow the guy to catch the ball. <laughs> That's a big run-stuffing linebacker. Look how much ground he's covering. Right? He's first-team All-Pro. Do you dudes know what All-Pro is? Not Pro Bowl. He was a first-team All-Pro along with Bobby Wagner. So the NFL thinks that this guy is one of the best, if not the best in the league. Look at that. That's your big run stuff in line. Think about all these big-ass run stuff in linebackers from, from back in the day or whatever like that. They're not running like this and changing direction. That's exactly how you teach it. Oh, my God. Now I want to highlight how this man is just a great space player as well. We can see here, look at the angles taken. Look at the instincts that's another thing that i think that separates him even from like a Deion john i think his, his instincts is just a little bit better right check this out right here if you've been in this situation before you see some area blocking your first mo is to go ahead and maybe you want to shoot this gap and try to bring it on the inside here but he understands exactly what's going on i know he feels like cam jordan right here is able to hold up at the point of attack behind Onyemata here, look at him able to sift. That's just patience right there. That's patience to know that, all right, I can shoot this gap here. If I'm patient, allow that to wash away, I can now shoot this gap and work inside out. Because once again, he trusts his angle and he trusts his speed as well. And look, everybody's got his back. They phone him back into him. He works the cleanup role. 
This man can be the goddamn anchor, right? The point man setting up, stacking and shedding blocks, and he can work the cleanup role. That's not that's damn near unheard of, man. You better get this guy his props. If you understand linebacker play, that's some next level shit. All right, I showed him working in space. But remember the versatility of him. You can jump in your eye fronts, your bare fronts, and uh, you can use him out on the edges. Now, look at this. Look at him just get completely savage on Taylor Luan here. How angry man said on Martin, man, sit your ass down. Uh, come on, man. How many people giving you that type of shit? Dudes out there talking about, oh, uh, sacks don't mean nothing as a linebacker. Those type of people never play. I wish I could tell. I wish I could tell my coach when I was sent on blitzes and shit like that. Well, that doesn't matter for a linebacker, coach. Why are you sending me? Look at this. Oh, uh, sit your big ass down. He probably was listening to that goofy ass podcast Taylor Luan has. Come on, man. He don't like that shit either. Oh, uh, look at that. That's savage, bro. How you take somebody's left tackle and just spread their herb ass on the grass like fertilizer? Look at him, man. He's done. Stool softener. That's the one of them spinal cord records too, man. His whole spinal column got wrecked. Now you got to use a colostomy bag. That's what you get for messing with Demario Davis, man. Don't mess with that boy. Oh, uh. go again. Proper run fits. Look at him. He doesn't overrun this play. Look at the patience and then just shoot. Man, that's some high level stuff for real. Check this out right here. If you see zone flow going to one side, you're mo. Like I said before, is usually going to try to stretch it out yourself. But he stays patient, and he can see the play developing. He can see where the organic cutback crease is, just like Deion Lewis can right here, right? So this looks like one of those um, quick zone plays where you work off the back stretch here, and he works it off as well. He just recognizes the play. That's film recognition, and boom. There you go. All right, look at this dude pressing the A-gap in this fabricated pressure scheme right here. One man down. Look kind of working against Lake and Thomas in here. More savagery. Oh, uh, gave him the AI crossover. Keeps working. Jimmy G, fertilizer time. Run it back here. Look at him. Hit him with the finesse there. Hit him with the crossover dribble. Thomason kind of bites. He takes the inside, gives him half a man. Keeps working. Of course, Thomason's a big dude or whatever like that. But look at him. Get up in on the center. Push him out the way. Now it's time to hunt. It's a man hunt. It's a man hunt with your boy Demario Davis. And this is your weak side linebacker, man. Running a 4-4. 32 reps on the bench. All right, back at it again. Working off the line of scrimmage. Another eye front. Setting the edge. Going Play going towards him. Nope. Stacks and sheds the block of Joel Staley like it ain't nothing. What is this he doing right there? Oh, you can. That's hard. That's hard. But check him out right there, man. Gets into Joel Staley first. Extends them arms. Use that 32 reps on the bench press to go ahead and get him the hell away. Stops it. Makes Raheem Mostert have to cut back inside. It don't matter because he's discarded the block himself. And he makes the play. Like I said before, he's your weak side linebacker. Oh, you can. All right. Back to working out in space again here. Going to have a dump off to Raheem Mostert on a flat route. Look who covers that ground. Can't work in space, huh? He's a he's a run stuffing linebacker from 1987, Murph. Uh, no. Look at that. Cover that space on that flat route. Get out there. All out in space. Let's talk about impact tackles at or around the line of scrimmage. I don't give a fuck about blind stats on a tackle. Anybody can rack up. Not anybody, but most people be racking up these tackles, right? 18, 20 yards down the field. What did that accomplish, right? Oh, yeah, you, you stop somebody, you got to tackle. That's that Keith Brooken shit. Tell me about tackles at and around the line of scrimmage, right? Five yards and in. Look at this orbit sweep. All this window dressing going on. Look who's not fooled. Demario Davis. Not fooled, sir. A lot of window dressing. A lot of split flow action going on there from the linemen and everything. He's kept clean on this particular play. Look at him work out in space. Now, look. He has his sight set on the ball carrier in their space. He's going to get there. He's a sure tackler, too. Of course. All right. A point of contention in the who you got was about pass coverage. Deion Jones is a better pass 
coverage linebacker than Demario Davis. But that's literally all he's better than Demario Davis at. And then, in my opinion, it's not by that much. We never got to see Demario Davis cover at the New York Jets like he does with the New Orleans Saints. As you can see here, he's used to cover a lot. And he's produced 16 pass deflections in the two seasons he's been with the Saints. Usage determines a lot of people's production. Check this out. This man can cover his ass off, bro. He's just a freak athlete. Jack Doyle trying to transition on him. Bang it to the outside. He's right up in his hip pocket. Grinding like Jamaican clubs. He locates when Doyle locates. Breaks that bad boy up. Gets him a P.O.B. play on ball. Gets up. Let the Indianapolis coach people know about it too, man. So, come on. I just don't think there's a weakness in this guy's game. He, he, there's not a weakness in his game. That's why I think he's the best in the world. Now, it's close, obviously, but he was first team all pro. So it's not like I'm really going out on a limb here. This is something I love this guy since he's gotten in the league. I thought he's been shortchanged just by being on those Jets teams and not having the type of publicity. But, man, he's first team all pro. As a matter of fact, let's look at that. All right, here we go. First team all pro, not the Pro Bowl, first team all pro where you're voted on with your peers and only a couple of you guys will make it. We see all the stars of the league here. Let's get to off-ball linebackers here. We see Bobby Wagner, who to me is equally as good as Demario Davis. It's really hard to to really pick between the two. I like Demario Davis' size, his length a little bit better than Bobby Wagner at this particular point in time. Obviously, Wagner could get the nod because he's been doing it so long at an all-pro level, but I thought DeMario Davis was underrated anyway, so to me it doesn't matter. He's been producing. He just not been on a team like the Saints where he can get that type of publicity. And we see DeMario Davis here and then Eric Kendricks. Those are your three first-team all-pro off-ball linebackers. Yes, think about all the, the good linebackers that people like that is not first-team all-pro here. He's right there, so there you go. Not a weakness in this game. I like Eric Kendricks too. Um, a smaller guy, extremely fast. He can get you turnovers and do all that. Demario Davis can set the edge. He can work out in space. He can cover tight ends and running backs. Um, he can hit with the best of them. He'll lay you the hell out. I didn't even, I didn't even concentrate on the big ass hits he has. You just can't find a weakness in his game at this particular point in time in his career. Uh, he's put it all together, and I think he's the best in the world. So it is what it is. People gonna come in here and say whatever. But you know me, I always visually support anything that I believe or I deem as an opinion, and we can have at it like that, all right? But make sure you like this bad boy. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's have some intelligent discussion here, and let's talk about some linebacker play. I'm always up to talk about some great linebacker play, all right? But it's your boy Murph Baldwin, the underground king, top billing sports, and I – am out Rogan. what more can i say top billing top.